hello guys today in this video i'm going to show you how to configure always on high availability a database server for sharepoint 2019 or sharepoint all versions i have two database server node 1 and node 2 one domain controller uh, this is sql witness i'm not going to use as witness i will just configure a failover cluster to uh, uh, monitor the uh, failover and I, I have one uh, SharePoint server in this SharePoint server I have already configured SharePoint uh, just need to connect to the database SharePoint server is ready but not connected to the database first I will configure always on the high availability database server then after i will connect uh, the sharepoint server to database first of all we need to configure some service accounts or services go to services and server I will grant login with my database admin introductory and my database admin is sp admin check names ok provide password and restart the service same in node 2 apply and ok restart service ok service is restarted now in all servers go to server manager and add role and features next all based yeah, this is my node 1 node 2 so in node 2 and this is role and we have we need feature feature is failover clustering eight features next and i will check restart the destination server automatically if required install same in node one server manager add roles next and this may node one next next in feature failover clustering okay next install okay i just forgot to check restart required and also here server manager add rules and features okay next yeah, this is my sql witness and next select failover clustering install yeah, it is installing installation is succeeded close i want to close this one this one and Check node 2, it is also succeeded. Close this one and check here. Witness okay, here also succeeded. Close now. Now, next step is go to your SQL Server Configuration Manager. Yes, and go to properties. Uh, always on high availability tab okay before that we need to create failover cluster node okay I will create failover cluster node from this machine uh, 
services again tools here fill over cluster manager and first of all we need to validate configuration validate configuration next uh, browse your uh, servers which servers are going to participate in this failover uh, the cluster location is fine this is my active directory domain controller and my SQL servers are node 1 and node 2 yeah, these two node 1 and node 2 okay okay yeah these two servers are going to participate in this failover cluster click next I run all tests recommended fine next and next it is validating now all the tests are validated that's fine and check create the cluster now using validated nodes check this one and click and finish it will pop out create cluster wizard next and cluster name it will create one virtual network cluster machine here this is my domain controller go to active directory and users and computers this is my domain and computers there is nothing now uh, when I create one cluster it will create as a virtual machine or virtual network name here uh, my cluster I will create my cluster next and this is fine add all eligible stories to the cluster that's fine farming cluster my cluster this my cluster name will be created in domain controller here the surface here this is my cluster okay uh, that's fine this is my cluster and nodes are node 1 and node 2 that's fine now next step here go to server SQL server uh, services properties in always high availability tab it is already taken the failover uh, the cluster name and check enable always on high availability groups apply ok and restart the service same to the node 2 configuration manager services restarting and restart it now I am going to connect node 2 also here node 2 and create one dummy database dummy and ok first take full backup I will continue with different location ok now time to create always on high availability next availability group is Windows Server Failover Cluster, Database Labeled Health Detection and Power Database DTC Support. Next, this is the dummy and meets prerequisites. If you, uh, do, uh, if you didn't take the full backup, it will say the requirement is not meet. So first, take full backup. Then next. 
yeah, this is my primary and uh, I need to add replica or secondary secondary or replica is not to connect that's fine I will read able secondary yes yes and in points that's fine back of preference prefer secondary that's fine and priority is 50 50 that's fine for me listener okay I will create listener listener means one virtual database server name you can say so my DB port is my database server default port so I will wait I will keep the default port and if you have a static IP you have to define here I will continue with DSCP and this main network that's fine and yeah that's fine listener backups endpoints replicas listeners and it will create my DB1 virtual database server click next yes and automatic seeding and next all are green and pass next and click on finish